how can you achieve a lean and allergic physique in less than two to three hours per week and how we helped over 50 clients do just that in the past year. So if you are a corporate executive or manager or you run your own business, you might use the excuses that you are too much overwhelmed with family, travels, work, business, calls and meetings and so on and so on and you can't focus on your health, you can't concentrate, you can't do your workouts because simply you just don't have time or you keep telling yourself that you don't have time so if you're one of these people a manager executive or entrepreneur you definitely want to stay until the end and watch this video because i'm going to share you the exact same system that we use for our clients to get them from this to this and from this to this and so on and so on and how we did that multiple dozens of times over so in case you don't know me I'm Coach Abrish, founder of Mythical Gains, where we help high performers and executives lose over 30 pounds of body fat, gain 5 to 7 pounds of lean muscle mass, and double their natural energy level through sleep optimization. And in this video, we're going to specifically talk about our time efficient training methods. So, how to get more shit done in less time, right? More bang for your buck. You want to gain leverage. This is what you do in business as well. And I get that you say that you don't have time to train right now and I can completely understand it because your schedule is already packed. But what now? There are two ways that you can go. You either keep making excuses, which is like a no-no for a go-getter like you, or you can say that, okay, I will try to implement time-efficient training methods so I can also get my dream physique. I can also get to the point where I'm satisfied with my overall health and wellness. You can say that I want to get to the point, whatever it takes, where I take my shirt off and I'm proud of who I am, where I'm energetic all day, when it's easy for me to make the good decisions, the right decisions faster. How are you going to get there in minimal amounts of time, in less than two to three hours per week? So let's go through all the different processes and very simple systems that you can use to get there. And before we get into it, this chart might look a little bit complicated, but believe me, it's very simple. You can get started with it like today, it's so simple, and you don't need anything further or anything outside of this, right? So, first of all, let's discuss the basics. How much time it will take? Usually, two to three hours per week and nothing more. Above that, you will get to the point of diminishing returns. If you actually drain your energy, you won't really enjoy it. But if you have a training plan with that you actually enjoy, that makes you even more energetic, and you are able to hit all of your muscle groups every single week, and you make progress week by week, and it will motivate you, and it will give you more energy. But how often should you train, right? I would say don't do more than two to four sessions per week. Majority of your weekdays, should be actually rest days or recovery days, right? You wanna leave enough time for your muscles to recover. So ideally, you train each muscle group twice per week or twice every eight to 10 day periods. So the thing is, what most people and most fitness coaches get wrong is that they think that one training week equals one calendar week. And this couldn't be further away from the truth. Because biology is not working like that. So I'd say one training week equals 8 to 10 days. If you can hit each of your muscle groups twice every 8 to 10 day period, you will be doing amazing. And you don't need to do a lot of volume, a lot of workload to get there. You want to be as intense as possible. So how many sets per week? I'd say 6 to 10 intense sets per muscle group per week should be way more than enough if you do it really intense. And we're going to get into it, like how to actually train intense, what training hard means and how you combine that with training smart. Because you want to be smart, right? So, how many reps? So usually we'll work in the 6 to 15 rep range, typically. But 20 to 25 is not uncommon either for some specific muscle groups. But let's not get too much into that. Just for your instance, lots of different rep ranges work. So you don't have to argue about the superiority of 
one rep range over another. Many different approaches work. So, next question. What is the ideal split for you? Because I said, you want to have two to four workouts per week, right? And you want to be able to hit each of your muscle groups twice per week or twice in a training week period. But how you actually do that? So there are many ideal splits. What is the most ideal for you is that which one suits your calendar? Which muscle group do you like to train first, right? And how do you think of your body? Do you think of it as a unit, as a machine where all the different you know, wheels are connected to each other? Or do you like to separate it a bit more? I would say it also depends on how advanced you are, how much training experience you have from before. So let's get into that too. If you're a beginner, I would say do a full body split. Follow a full body routine at least for the first eight weeks. And you want to do that like full body, rest day, rest day, full body, rest day, rest day. This is the first full body split when you're doing two full body workouts, less than 40 to 50 minutes per week and you're done. That's it. That's it. Nothing more. All right. You can do a full body three times per week if you don't really have like not even 40, not even 50 minutes to complete a workout. You really want to do that fast. I would say you can allocate 25 to 30 minutes per workout. Okay. Then you take the same weekly workload and you divide it into three equal parts. So one full body workout, 25 to 30 minutes on Monday. Let's say one on Wednesday and one on Saturday. Or it could look like full body, rest day, full body, rest day, rest day, and a full body again. Boom, you hit all your muscle groups actually three times per week. So this is also very time efficient. All right, if you prefer a four day split and you wanna focus a little bit more on certain muscle groups of the upper body or lower body, you can follow an upper lower split. It will look like upper body, lower body, rest day, upper body, lower body, rest day, rest day. Or you can switch it up. Lower body, upper body, rest day, lower body, upper body, rest day, rest day. Or the two rest days in the middle. So you can switch it up in your favor. I would say start with the lower body, that increases your testosterone levels that stimulates muscle growth and fat loss and you will make progress in your upper body faster too. So that's a life hack for me, but I know that most people like to start with upper body and that's totally fine. All right, what else can you do? Upper lower full. So upper body, lower body, or you can do lower body, upper body, rest day, rest day, full body, rest day, rest day. Again, instead of four training days, like in the upper lower, upper lower split, you're having only three training days and again, you're hitting each of your muscle groups twice per week. What does that mean for you if you are hitting your muscle groups twice per week? It means that you can do half the amount of sets in one workout that are required per week. So let's say you're doing six heavy sets for back per week. What does it mean to you? That in one session, you only need to do three. That's it. And you're not. And you can go for the next exercise, the next muscle group, and so on and so on. So you can spin it up. You can really spin it up. All right. Some of you like to split up your workout plan based on what type of movement that certain muscle group is doing. Is it pushing or is it pulling, right? So you can have a push-pull workout routine split, right? Push-pull, rest day, push-pull, rest day, rest day. Or you can do like... Upper, lower, rest day, push, pull, rest day, rest day. So again, here you're training all the muscle groups of your upper body and lower body twice per week. So no matter if you prefer to or your schedule allows for two workouts, three workouts or four workouts, you can always find the one that suits the best for you. And what about bro splits, right? When you have a, like a back and biceps day or chest and triceps day, a separate day for shoulders, separate day for arms, separate day for legs. To be honest for you, I would say that's out of question. Not completely out of question, but it's not time efficient for you. Because that would require you to go to the gym like five to six times per week if you want to hit each of the muscle groups twice. 
Do you think that would be something that suits you or something that's easily implementable in your lifestyle? I don't think so. So that's why I'm completely excluding bro splits from this combination and from this system. All right, now you know how much, how often, what is the total time commitment? You also know what is the ideal split for you. At this point, if you took notes, you probably already picked the one for you. And now you can just make sure, you wanna make sure that you're actually making progress. Because what's the point of going to the gym or working out at home if you are not making progress and you're not getting the desired results over here, right? You want to make sure that every single week your workout gets a little bit more difficult, but not harder. What do I mean by that? It will get more difficult for your overall workload, right? You will be lifting more overall compared to the last week, but it's not going to be harder because your muscles adapt, right? So you've already adapted. It won't feel much harder than last week, but you are moving a lot more weights. Does it mean you should always increase the weights completely, like compared to the previous week? No, not at all. There are many ways to skin a cat. Just like in business, here there are many possibilities to make progress. So let's go through them. So, you can use longer time under tension, so slower reps. Every time you, let's say, you release a lat pull down like this, very slowly, you can do it slower with the same weight. So you can squeeze more out of the same weight. You can do it in a bicep curl. So when you're letting it go down, you're descending, you're counting to three, let's say. Next week you're counting to four, so you can get more out of the same weight. Or the most simple way, you can increase the weight. So let's say to your bench press, every week you're adding a 2.5 pound plate for each side of the bar. So you are increasing by 5 pounds. Of course, your progress will never be this much linear. That's why it makes sense to vary these methods for increasing the intensity of your training. Okay, so you can slow down your reps. You can increase the weights. You can increase the number of reps within the same set. So let's say you are benching 150 for 6 reps, 4 times, 4 sets, right? It goes very well this week. Next week, you can either do 155 for the same 4x6, four, 4 sets of 6 repetitions, or you can stick with the same 150 pounds for 4 sets, but this time 7 repetitions. Alright? How does it make sense? This is how you make actual progress. What else can you do? Let's say you have all of these nails nailed, right? So you know how much, how much time commitment, how many sets, etc. etc. You pick your ideal split. You know how to make progress. You are tracking your workouts every single week, right? You have a training gap, you have a coach who keeps you accountable. If not, then I might have something for you. But yeah, you might do this on with pen and paper if you're an old school type. That's cool as well, right? So let's say you have all these nailed and at some point you struggle to make progress with the same amount of time. What are you doing? What other weapons do you have in your toolbox? I'm going to reveal it to you today. It's called IET, Intensity Enhancing Techniques. So what are these? What are these fancy words I'm throwing around? Supersets, trisets, giant sets, drop sets. So simply, they are condensing more workload into the same amount of time. So for example, a superset. You're doing two exercises back to back with each other without rest in between. These two exercises could go for the same muscle group. So for example, let's say you're doing easy bar bicep curls and then concentration curls, whatever, right after each other without rest. Or you're grouping up two different muscle groups. So let's say the biceps with the triceps or the chest with your back. And you're doing, let's say, a set of lat pull downs followed by a set of machine chest flies or incline benches or whatever. So you're hitting two birds with one stone with supersets. So you're doing set one, you're not resting, you're doing set two for the other muscle group, 
and then you go and rest and you keep your regular rest time okay and then you repeat it again two birds one stone twice the amount of workload condensed into one single set i think that's amazing <laughs> but i show you what there is a better way try sets so let's say you have already done some super sets right and you are already good at it you got used to that level of intensity what are you doing after that you're doing try sets so three exercises in a row right after each other either as a circuit so for three different muscle groups or for the same muscle group you can do a tri set for your biceps and that's gonna hurt and burn like hell but you have just done three sets and you've done it more than 10 per week you did three sets in kind of two minutes so what's better than this i'll show you what giant sets when you're doing more than three exercises in a row or three or more right so it can go as a full body circuit or you can do it for the same muscle group this way you can basically kill an entire muscle group in one or two sets that's amazing that's very good if you are if you have a completely packed schedule you only have a little lunch break you you eat your lunch or whatever and you have like 10 minutes left to train and you really need this kind of blitzkrieg approach and you will be doing giant sets if you're already at the level that you can do that and you have that endurance that helps you to get through it and you have that work capacity it's not that difficult to be honest but you might have some practice from previously so probably it doesn't make sense for you to start with giant sets later on you can definitely consider it. But drop sets, anyone can do them. What is a drop set? So you pick an exercise for a certain muscle group. Let's say you're doing leg extensions. Let's say you love leg extensions and you want bigger legs, bigger quads, higher testosterone levels. Super good. All right. So you start doing leg extensions with a certain weight. Let's say for eight repetitions. And instead of going to rest, no, you're not doing anything. No. You're decreasing the weight, you're dropping the weight by one increment, and then you're immediately doing 10 reps. Okay, you're done with the 10 reps, the, your quads are burning at this point, all right? Now you drop the weight again, and you're doing 12 reps, and we are not over yet. You're dropping the weight again, and you're doing 15 reps. So basically, you just did four sets in one set. And if you go to near failure, if you're training intense enough, you will feel it and you will feel it four times in a row so this is how you can make sure that you're efficient with your time during the training sessions so you know the right quantities you know how to train intense you're making progress every week because you're tracking it and you're following a split that suits your lifestyle and all of these different beautiful processes lead to one goal and one result a lean and energetic physique in less than two to three hours per week. What does that mean for you? What's in it for you? You have more time to spend with your family. You have more focus and energy at work. Because you don't leave the gym with a feeling that, okay, please somebody kill me because this was such a hard session. No, you actually enjoyed it. It was fast, it was intense, it was efficient with your time. Now you can go and you have that energy to crush your day, right? You have that endurance that allows you to do other activities in your life that you enjoy. Because if you follow a very long, um, high volume and boring workout plan, that won't really increase your endurance. It won't really improve how you do other things in life, right? And how you do anything is how you do everything. So that's why I would say training intense is a much more sustainable way of working out. Because at this point you know that, okay, it's not only for vanity, it's not only for looking good, not only for the muscles, but actually having energy and having the work capacity to do other things in life. So this is what you're aiming for and this is what we did to these gentlemen over here. So for example, Devin, he's 45 years old, absolutely crushing it. Zhao, he lost 50 pounds 
less than six months. It's Hunter, who is a young dad. He wanted to be strong for his daughter. He did that. Benjamin, losing 62 pounds in less than six months. Or Paul, or Silas, or Hayden, getting absolutely shredded. And none of them trained more than two to three hours per week. So if this is something that sparks your interest and you're ready to achieve that in 2024, so to go from this excuse of not having time to train to being an absolutely lean and energetic machine full of energy, then we might have something for you. Check out the description, click on the link below and book a call with us if you're serious about your transformation in 2024 and you don't want that to take too much of your time. You want to get the most return for your investment, so invest two hours per week into results like this and the energy levels, the endurance and the work capacity that comes with it. So if you are serious about this, feel free to book a call with us. If you're not serious about this, if you prefer to make excuses, if you still think that, nah, two hours or maybe three hours per week is just not for me, I can't commit to this. If you think that, okay, this is not the right time of the year because I have a high season in business, well, we all have high seasons. We are all busy. So if you want to keep making this excuse, it's fine. Just don't book a call with us, right? Just let's admit that you prefer to make this excuse and you don't want to change. But if you do want to change, I encourage you to embark on this journey and completely change your life in less than two to three hours per week in the scope of six months. Love talking to you guys. See you next time.